hope to renew this November. Commissioner Amanda Fritz says that it would help to fund critical park repairs without raising taxes, but some still wonder if that work will actually get done. Well, Jessica Morkert, live with what we've learned about this. Jessica? And Jeff, this would be one of the first projects slated for repairs. Pioneer Courthouse Square, and I'm told that there are water leaks beneath the bricks here, and so they need to be fixed. I checked with Commissioner Amanda Fritz. She tells me a five-person oversight committee will oversee the work that is done in parks like these. Still, there are some who just don't trust it. It's just like kindling up on the roof. It's just like dry card bark of a, of a firework and it would be gone. Susan Armstrong tells me the roof on the historic pool house at Selwood Park has required basement and algae have been allowed to build up. You can see daylight through the roof of the lobby and it went that way all winter long, all the rains of the winter. There's no excuse for it. How many people have been fighting for us where? Despite her disappointment, Armstrong is one of many who says they will vote to renew an approximate $68 million 20 year bond. Yes because I care. I've learned taxpayers would continue to pay 0 0.08 cents per $1,000 of assessed value. So a home valued at $150,000 would continue to pay $13 per year. At a town hall meeting Monday night, Commissioner Fritz answered questions about the bond, offering a list of prioritized repairs from playgrounds and bridges to trails and pools. If they're saying it's on the list, does that give you hope that it would be repaired? Not necessarily, no, no. I would hope so, but I, uh, I'm not seeing it. I'm not, I'm not, they've said it before. I checked with Commissioner Fritz who tells me projects are approved as long as they cost over $10,000 and last 20 years. I asked her about Armstrong's concerns, but she does not trust that this roof will be repaired. What would you say to somebody like that? If we don't renew the bond, she's correct. It will not be repaired. We don't have the money. But if we have the, the, the money, then that particular project is so obviously needed that it is on our list of, of priorities. And back here live now, Commissioner Fritz tells me that there will be regular audits and reporting to the community. She also tells me that there is an email set up so voters can ask questions about that bond. And that email address is on our website at coin.com. Live in downtown Portland, Jessica Morkert, Coin 6 News.